Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Rob Todd. And I am playing WWE SmackDown Bros. Raw 2006. The Sony PlayStation 2. There's a Let's Not Cheat. Why? Because I'm that damn good. I brought you by GamingNoah.com and number one source for video game walkthroughs. And I've done not once. I've done but I've done two videos already. And I'm doing another one. I'm quite possibly gonna be doing a lot more videos today of this game. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh let's continue. Today is gonna be all about this game. Tomorrow is gonna be all about Final Fantasy X. Yes. I'm gonna shit out the videos as much as I can right now before I go back to work. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, earlier tonight we witnessed a classic bout for the WWE title. So before we begin the Royal Rumble match, allow me to formally introduce you to your new WWE Champion. And I have even better news for SmackDown. Your fine general manager, Theodore Long, is nearly fully recuperated from his heinous assault earlier this year. And being the consummate professional that he is, he insists on resuming his duties on SmackDown as soon as this week. Did you hear that, Taz? Theodore Long is back. It's about time, Cole. SmackDown's been without a general manager for way too long. Yay. Now remember the man who wins tonight's Royal Rumble will earn a title opportunity at the greatest sports entertainment spectacle of all time, WrestleMania 22. Yes, the road to WrestleMania begins right here, right now, in this very ring. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be in this right away. Nope. I enter at number 30. Last person that enters. So. After these two entrances, I'm going to put down my remote controller. X and let it play out till I come in. I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE, and he doesn't give a damn what they think. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. Time he got the Paul has gone out of his way to get noticed, Cole. He was one step ahead on that one. Man, you talk about an American icon, you talk about a real American hero, you just don't get me better than a man right here. All right. Angle certainly represented his country well in the 1996 Olympic Games, where he won his gold medal. But ever since then, I think his accomplishments have gone to his head. What? How can you say that, Cole? That's practically, that's, that's more or less un-American. How can the Park of Homeland Security ain't watching this? Uh, oh, God. He tried Angle to hang has on, been eliminated. This is not the way I thought this match was going to go at all. And that's what makes the WWE so exciting. The unpredictability of the superstars. You never quite know exactly what you're doing. There he goes. This one's over for him. Man, I don't 
whatever that rap. You know, the last place I'd want to be is between these superstars. When they do please. Say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. And there's an elimination. Nice. I was thinking that picture was about to get eliminated. Hayden, Hayden, Hayden. I think this proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports and entertainment. He is still in. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Yeah, and even if you did, you'd have to listen to a couple of yahoos jabbering out about puppies and, and government mules and uh, scolded dogs. I tell you, it's like a damn zoo over there. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Why don't we straighten this up a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this bad boy right down the middle. I think Jindrak, well, that narrowed things down a little bit. like things have quieted down a little bit here, Cole. I think this may just be the calm before the storm task. Uh, Each of these competitors the is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Doug That's a horrible Danny jungle, Basham. Cole. An injured superstar a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is a suck. Whoa, he just got eliminated. Can you believe that? Well, I think this one's pretty much a foregone conclusion. In this match, he's, he's away and eliminated. Superstar. Wow. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover neither. You gotta... Sayonara, scout. See you next time. What's not stories? Superstars have proven time and again that they're willing and able to go the distance. Well, you don't go too far in this business if you're not, Cole. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone right behind you, ready to overtake you if you can't keep up. There's a whole king coming through. Watch it. He reversed it. He's already been eliminated. Oh my god. Reversal. Can he follow up? He just eliminated Big Show is still there. Wow. Not for long though. It's oh, so no, great he's still in. Athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible buff luck, it's a look of fight another day. Wow, Big Joe is still in. I wonder if anything this good on Raw next Monday, Cole. I'm really surprised. I think we both know the answer to that one. I don't think I've ever seen a guy as well put the... Oh, come on, quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before, Taz. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. 
Why are you hiding? These superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same. He just didn't have enough left. Big deal has on. finally been eliminated. <laughs> but man, did he stay in there for a while. You know, Cole, the more I watch this match, the more I'm thinking that there's some legitimate personal... He's out of the match and on his way to the locker room. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in a wrong game. Boy, Christian's a real piece of work. I don't think of it. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, no, that's not going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. Carlito is still in. But no, he's still in. It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an offseason. They compete every week until they're not physically capable of continuing. We have a full win again. It's easy to see why. He's pretty good at it. He certainly is. And I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. And I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to get. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't... Man, what a ride! Took him all the way out of the match. Let me tell you, Cole, I spoke to these superstars before the match. You don't look too thrilled about it, but out is Carlito out. has been eliminated. If I had to pick only one re... Come on, someone eliminate Kane. I love Rick Flag Ball, I'm telling you. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I picked up a few moves from the dirtiest player in the game. Now there's a legacy for you. How'd you like to be known as the superstar who inspired other superstars to cheat their way to victory? to this match all night long, Cole. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. Chris Benoit. They sure are. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. and down to the floor to Grandma's house we go. And Kane's finally been eliminated. Folks will be staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Good thing too, Cole, because I don't think we'd ever hear the end of it if we cut away here. You're probably right, Taz. I know I wouldn't want to miss a second of this action. I think that gets it to the elimination. Yeah. I should be the next one in. It's obvious these superstars oh, no. have studied each other. No, one real sorry. no question about that, Taz. You won't last long against an opponent you haven't done your homework on. Yeah, I'm the next person in. There we go. Out of the ring and out of the match. What a reversal.
reversal. Here it comes. Advantage that possibly do. ask for in okay. his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Paul? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. And there goes the superstar! Sit, 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 sit. Not good, not good, not good. to me an H B K. Hey. Superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the fans sell out these arenas night after night, Taz. Sounds like a pretty fair trade to me. Superstars go. It's obvious they've done their homework on each other. That's for sure. This match might have been over by now if they had. 90% of a match is in the preparation, Cole. You gotta come ready for the battle. What is he thinking? If he's hurt, he's gotta put he's got this guy right where he wants him. And there it is! The scissors kick! At one point it looked like I was going to lose, but in the end I still won. Nice. Can you dig it, sucker? Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of the 2006 Royal Rumble. He outlasted 29 other superstars, and by doing so, he's going to get a title shot at WrestleMania 22. What a night for him. What a night for SmackDown. We got a new WWE Champion and a new number one contender. I'll tell you, Cole, I love the Raw Rumble. So do I. So do I. Field. Road to WrestleMania. Can you dig it? Sucker! Wow! Let me tell you, it feels great to be standing in this ring here tonight as the winner of the Royal Rumble. Not only did I prove myself against 29 other superstars, but I also earned the chance to challenge for SmackDown's WWE title, a Raw's World Heavyweight title, in the main event at WrestleMania. That's true, Taz. The Rumble winner has the option of jumping to Raw and facing Triple H for the World Heavyweight title, or challenging SmackDown's own WWE Champion, John Cena. So without further ado, let me answer the questions on everyone's mind and say that at WrestleMania, I've decided that I'm going to challenge for It's Theodore Long. The general manager has finally returned to SmackDown. And not a minute too soon. We ain't seen Tilo since he was run down months ago. You think he's got something on his mind? Hold up a minute, player. Sorry to step on your big announcement. 
but I've got a couple of announcements of my own. First of all, it's great to be back here on SmackDown. Man, listen to the ovation for Teddy Long. It's been too long since I've been in this ring. Six months ago, somebody tried to take me out of the picture when they ran me down in the parking lot. Now, I'm sure that after all this time, he thinks he got away with it. But you see, there's something he didn't plan on. See, before I lost consciousness, the last thing I saw was the very face of the man who did it. Finally, we're going to find out who ran down Teddy Moore. And I'm looking at him right, right now. now. What? Oh! It can't be. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Teddy Long must be delirious. Maybe he checked out of the hospital a little too early. Well, I guess there's no point denying it anymore. Yeah, I did it. And I don't regret it one bit. You had it coming, Teddy. Without you around to hold me back, I climbed the SmackDown ladder. I got into the Royal Rumble, and I earned the title match that I deserved. Not to mention the respect that goes with it. Winning the Royal Rumble guarantees me a title match at WrestleMania. That means you can't fire me, Teddy. Like it or not, there ain't much you can do about it. I gotta admit it, player. There's not a lot I can do. But if you challenge for the WWE title and win it, then there's no getting rid of you. Yep. And if you jump the Raw and take on Triple H for the World Heavyweight title, SmackDown loses one of its biggest superstars, whether I like it or not. So it looks like all I can do is to make sure that you never make it to WrestleMania. And by the time I'm done with you, dog, You'll be lucky to make it to no way out. You feel me? Now, since we've got some unfinished business that started in a parking lot, then you're going to take on Eddie Guerrero tonight in a parking lot brawl. Holla, holla, holla! The road to WrestleMania begins tonight, but Theodore Long is on a personal crusade to ensure that the number one contender never makes it there. Under the circumstances, I can't say I blame him, Taz. Yeah, as you can tell, this storyline is the exact same. It doesn't change. Anyhow, um, parking lot ball. Which is fine with me. I don't mind if the if they stay with the same storyline uh, for a good part of this, as long as I can play as quite a few people in the season mode. And yes, I can. Quite a few characters, but only one at a time though. That's what I find sucks about this game. Is that in the season mode, can you, on you can't play your partner. If uh, you have a partner. If it's a tag team match. That's what I meant to do. Ooh, that's gotta hot.
Come on. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's end this. As soon as I can, that is. And then I'll probably call it a video. Yeah. So what's next? Me against Tibby L in a steel cage single. Okay. This is complicated. Peter Long is going to do everything in his power to stop the man who ran him down from reaching WrestleMania. That's why Long put him in this steel cage match tonight against JBL, one of the most dominant and brutal WWE champions in recent memory. This kind of match is right up JBL's alley. It ain't even a match. It's mean, dirty, no holds barred. It's just a straight up hardcore fight. The only way to win this is to get out of the cage any way you can. And as you pointed out last week, Terry, if he does make it to WrestleMania, that you still don't know hold. which title the number one contender has decided to challenge for. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. Ah, uh, door is open. Let's try again now. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Cole? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE Fit. fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on a line night after night. He does it because he's a man of the people. Oh, please. He does it because the rushing... All good things must come to an end. But I wish that match could have gone on a little longer. Ah, <sighs> stop. Stop at a pretty good place. It's just... At the end, though, he was trying to catch up. Anyhow, meanwhile, on war. Listen to me, Bischoff. You're the general manager of Raw. You can't let that piece of SmackDown trash come to Raw and challenge for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. This is my title. And he hasn't done a damn thing to deserve a match with me. Actually, he has, Triple H. See, he won the Royal Rumble, which guarantees him a title match for either brand's top title. That's a stipulation that comes from the board of directors. Yeah. I couldn't do anything about it, even if I, I wanted, wanted to. to. And quite frankly, were he to make the jump to Raw, I think a superstar of his caliber would be a tremendous asset. An asset? An asset? More like an ass clown, if you ask me. Listen, Bischoff, I damn near killed myself winning a number one contenders match last week. And if anyone's getting a World Heavyweight title match at WrestleMania, it's Y2J. Chris, while it's true that you're the current number one contender, 
you know that the decision of the Rumble winner supersedes that. If he decides to challenge Triple H, I'm afraid I have no choice but to postpone your title opportunity at WrestleMania. Number one contender or not. Well, if that's how it's going to be, then it looks like the cerebral sad sack and I better discourage a certain Rumble winner from coming to Raw. Jericho, you may be a sawed-off Oompa Loompa, mm. but you know what? For once, I agree with you. Let's go. Okay, so, on that note, I'm actually going to save it and call it a for this video. A little bit subtle this time, not too much subtle, but a little bit subtle than usual. Uh, thank you for watching, this is Rob Talk, signing out. Bye everyone, hope to see you for another part.